Atom with the NVIDIA card. This is the Amiga Pro um, with the NVIDIA card uh, to show you the difference. Now I'm just going to show you around the, uh, the Pro case. Now this case is the one we use for the Atoms as well. So the the last case um, you saw was the original one but they're just really expensive um, and they had about 40 quid the price. So um, anyway, uh, let's uh, I'm going to pause this and then set it up and go through the demo. Right, um, here we are. Just going to boot in. As I said, this is the uh, in, uh, Amiga Pro with the Socket 775 processor on board instead of the Atom. Um, I'm going to just show you uh, some basically similar tests. I'm not going to go through the Windows thing again. Just going to show you the um, the Gallium running on the uh, Nvidia card in the Amicas. Uh, Price-wise, this thing's between 250 300 pounds. This has got a three gigahertz processor in it, um, which is really nice when it comes to the um, uh, emulating the 68K software. Uh, it just makes a massive difference. Um, so if you're if you're really into the emulation side of things, you really want the fast machine. If you're just going to play with it, then the Atom is brilliant. Okay, because the Atom version is brilliant for AROS. It just needs more grunt when it comes to um, emulating the uh, 68k software. So here we go. Um, uh, what have we got here? So you'll, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got up here um, my AROS drive, my shared drive. Now, shared drive is a, um, a partition I've set because I've got Windows 7 on this as well. Um, as opposed to Linux, sometimes I put Linux, sometimes I'm Windows 7. Um, I wanted to use Windows 7 because it shows the um, the, the graphics software. There's some really good GL. The GL Access is brilliant on Windows. Um, so I've got a shared partition which is between the Windows and Icarus. So if you're jumping backwards and forwards. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's stop mucking about and let's load up the demo. Um, demos. Here we go. Right, let's bring this in. Now, as I said, I've got the screens at 1024, 768. Uh, I thought 24 bit color, tell a lie. Um, so now I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. Not too much. Um, but as you can see, this is the uh, beginning of the demo. And this is running hardware. Um, and it's in the, as you probably be aware, we've, um, with, with Davey Wensler, we've paid Davey Wensler to write some audio drivers for HD audio systems. Um, for the Omeka, and it, but it also works for netbooks, which we hope to bring out a, a netbook soon. Um, a netbooks, uh, some notebooks, some motherboards. So basically, um, uh, there's a lot of motherboards out there. We've now hopefully covered the sound, um, which I know is a big problem. Um, let's hope that. Uh, so that's come from basically Omeka. So anyway, um, so the fact I've pulled the graphic, the sound card out of this thing means that. Um, I haven't got a problem now with uh, I've got I've got a spare PCI slot. Now uh, the fact that it's a PCI slot, people go, oh, well, you know, it's not going to be that quick, right? Well, no, PCI is not technically it's not it's not as quick as PCI Express. And if you if you was to run some of the huge massive games that you get on Windows, um, it's just not good enough. But Icarus Avos is not going to have those games. Uh, it's going to have um, basic 3D just for quite some time. So the whole point here is to show you that even with the slightly lower end card that we've put into this, which is a PCI, um, you can still get good performance out of it. So as you can see, I mean, this, this demo, um, I mean, look, you can see it here, can't you, how, how well it's running. Um, it's, I don't think I need to say an awful lot more. Um, so I'm just going to let this continue through for a minute, and then I'm going to skip forward so you can see a bit more. Right, so you've seen that, and then we the fireworks. There it goes to fireworks again. Now, I, had no, I, I mentioned in the last video that the 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 Pro didn't seem quite as quick, um, but as far as the graphics display, I don't know. I don't, maybe it's, I maybe some some setting or something. I don't know. Um, oh, here we go. Now, I was having trouble with this bit actually with the uh, with the atom. I was having to skip over this bit. I don't know why. It might. Who knows? Um, but as you can see that. I pointed out in that last video that that would be uh, shiny chrome, um, but on the gallium drivers uh, they're not coming out properly. So let's um, let's speed this up. So I'll give it a couple more uh, to speed it up a little bit. Come on. 
let's go through this tunnel a bit, shall we? Right, so you can see it's um, it's nice quality. I mean, it's you know the, the problem. The only problem with the Amica was that we we was hoping to get native drivers for the Intel graphics chip, which to be fair is a good little graphics chip. It's not going to be as good as this, right? The quality is not going to be as good as the uh, Nvidia. You've got more effects in it and so on. But it was going to be a good a good basic one to have for games and so on. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this this one's lovely. Let's uh, skip to the next bit. What else have we got here? Um, what's this bit? Oh yeah, it's the tunnel now. So we're back into the tunnel. Um, you know, it's the one thing that's missing. But now, now I'm with the uh, the Atom version of the Amiga. I'm convinced I can do it for two hundred pound a unit. And the uh, pro version, and I really recommend people get for, go for the pro version. They're both in the same case, remember. But I recommend you go for the pro, which would be between 250 and 300 pounds with this graphics. Um, so you know, um, I think we're covering most areas. Uh, if, if 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 emulation's your thing, get the pro. All right, and we, you know, this has got three gigahertz. Um, we will do them with like you know, we like 2.2s and so on, which is which again is good enough. Um, but uh, the three, I mean, I'm just greedy sod, but they, they, you know, those chips cost peanuts. Um, and the good thing about this three gigahertz chip, it's got the virtual, uh, the virtualization on the chip. So if you do want to run virtual machines, uh, it's, it's a great, it's actually a very good chip for that. Now this is one that's rubbish. When I showed you in the windows, these were shiny. Um, I think it's obviously something to do with the renderer. Uh, in, but the, the card, it's not the card, it's just gallium. So let me just skip past this bit. Uh, here we go, and again, this, this looks really nice to you probably, unless you've seen it, because the, the water is actually reflecting the sky. So it does seem to be the reflection is not working quite right. Um, having said that, it's, I still think it's stunning. I mean, I, I'm just over the moon with this stuff. Right, so there's that. And, oh, this one. Now, this is I showed last time with the uh, stretching it full screen. I'll do the same thing again. It will probably freak out in a minute. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming it's just something to do with Gallium, but... No, it's not doing that, so it's working alright. I think it's just a, a glitch. But as you can see, full screen. Um, uh, it looks, you know, I mean, <laughs> 3D. What more can I say? Um, we've got 3D on Amicas and Icarus. And... Now, just to show it's not just a demo, if I close that down and go into one of these games, we've actually got a game on here. No, it's... Uh, I can't be used to see this. Right. I've not quite figured out the controls yet, okay, and I noticed the green's not showing up, but here we go, you can see this is uh, this is in 3D, I don't know if you can make this out actually now you come think of it, um, on, on this screen or not, but that is hardware scale, which is uh, pretty awesome to be honest, um, let's bring up the cursor, oh, no, that's not it is it, where's the, oh there it is, uh, and then there you go. What a great shot. Okay, so there you go. I just wanted to do that little quick update um, so you could see that. Oh, while you're there, I'll show you what the uh, emulator's like on the Pro. Um, you probably saw the Lightwave running on the, the Atom version, which if you, if you looked a bit close, you would have seen that it, it was um, not super fast, let's put it that way. Um, but this time I'm going to show you how quick this loads and runs. Uh, right, so we'll set 800 by 600, do that, bang, right, here we go, now you see, this will all, right, you see now how much quicker this is happening, now if I, let's, um, oh, <laughs> let's undo that, let's, uh, now I'll tell you what, we use that one, and I'll just quickly do that, it's so nice that um, I'm really pleased that um, New Tech released this because it's such a great program. Right, um, let's type in here Amica, Amica Pro with NVIDIA. Here we go. How's that? And that's TV Paint. Um, well, I like the Amiga anyway, so that's more I can say. Um, it just works brilliant. Um, everything's really, really quick. Um, so there you go. Alright, cheers. Bye.